It's the calm before the storm. The summer before your junior year in high school. And how do you spend it? Working some brutal summer job that actually makes you look forward to going back to school. Or maybe you have an internship that doesn't pay much. That's okay, because it's for a good cause. Or maybe you spent it at Sweetwater Swimming Pool. You are the best friends you'll ever have. Or maybe you spent most of June, July, August in a courtroom supporting our pal, Archie Andrews, who was on trial for a murder he didn't commit, despite the DA's closing arguments. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the evidence and testimony that was presented in this court tell a dark story that Mr. Andrews has a history of violent behavior, that he started not one, but two masked vigilante groups that he assaulted an innocent boy who was helpless with two broken legs. That he went wilding in the south side of town and threatened to shoot a young man in the face. That while parting with his friends in the town of Shadow Lake, Mr. Andrews ran into the woods and shot the victim, Cassidy Bullock, point blank in the head. Now, Mr. Andrews claims that it was his girlfriend's father's doorman who shot Mr. Bullock, a shot Mr. Andrews claims to have heard but not seen. Who knows the truth of what happened that terrible night in the woods near Shadow Lake? I'll tell you who. That man. Archie Andrews may be a varsity athlete and he may be a sensitive musician, but he is also a cold-blooded killer. Ladies and gentlemen, we know for a fact that Archie Andrews constantly puts the needs of others ahead of his own. We know that he helped to solve the murder of Jason Blossom. We know that he offered both friends and enemies shelter when they had nowhere else to stay. We know that he punched through a river of ice to save the life of his classmate, Cheryl Blossom. Well, let me remind you that there were no witnesses to the actual killing. There was no murder weapon. There was no motive. At the end of the day, all the prosecution has is cloudy testimony from unreliable people. Now, it is my solemn duty as a mother to protect my son. But as an attorney, it's my duty to adhere to the facts, to the evidence. There is nothing here that proves that Archie Andrews is anything less than an innocent boy. Thank you. Thanks, Mom. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the charge is first-degree murder. You may retire to begin your deliberations. <laughs>